Alignment, how do you build alignment both professionally but also with your family? If you've been watching some of our videos, you know that I love to teach leadership tools that you can apply to both your business and your profession as well as your family. A lot of our audience, they're, they're business owners, they're entrepreneurs, they're professionals, and they really wanna have tools that you can apply to both parts of your life. That's what, we're, that's what we love to do here in all these videos. So today we're talking about alignment. How can you drive alignment both with your, you know, both professionally and actually personally? So I'm gonna be giving you um, a few tips kind of around that. Um, I love data, I love numbers, I love, I love science. So here's a little bit of some interesting stats. 65% of organizations have agreed upon um, their strategy. Okay, 65% have agreed on the strategy. Only 14% of employees understand the strategy. Less than 10% of organizations successfully execute the strategy. It's all about strategy. So, um, you know, we can have we can have these ideas in our head, but if we are not, if there's not a full, clear plan on rolling it out, you're going to have an alignment problems. And you know what happens if we have alignment problems? People are disengaged. This, we'll see this in marriage. We'll see this with kids. We'll see this with our team at the office. So it's all about alignment. Think of alignment as like this superpower. It's like this energizer. That's what happens when people are aligned. So how do we do it? All right, I'm going to give you the tools of how do you actually do this both professionally, but also with your family as well. Step number one, okay, we're gonna go, this is 101, everybody, this is 101. Step number one is vision. What is your vision? What is your vision for your business? What is your vision for your family? It is shocking to me of how um, few uh, companies that when we first start working with them, it, the vision and the goals are not super clear. It is shocking to me that this is, you can actually have companies that are actually quite profitable, but they're growing so fast that they haven't really caught up and kind of their business plan is not really, is not caught up to with where they're actually at. So from a business, it's really clear that you are, you're clear about your vision. The same thing with family. Um, we're launching a marriage mastermind and one of the, for a whole half day, we're getting couples just to do vision casting. You know, where do you want to go as a family? Where do you want to go? What's your vision as a couple? What's your vision for your family, for your children, for your grandchildren? What is your legacy? That needs to be your starting point. Once you have that, everything else kind of starts falling into place. What is your vision? Where do you want to go? What kind of excites you? So that's number one. Number two, what are your values? Again, we've probably heard this before, but let's kind of like go through it again. So your vision is kind of like the direction you want to go. Your values are, are the, are the um, they're almost like, the way I describe it is like when you're like driving down a road, uh, your values are kind of like the bumpers. You want to make sure that you're not kind of going up against those different, those different bumpers. Your values are things that you really believe in to help you make decisions so that it helps you kind of go into the right direction. So from an organizational, professional perspective, but also as a family, ask yourself, what are the three to five? Some people have like up to seven. I find five, five is a bit of a sweet spot. What are the values that you want to live by? This is really, really, really important. Step number three, what are your goals? From a business perspective, what are your goals? One to three in five years. From a family perspective, what are your goals? My husband and I have been doing the goal setting and well, all these steps for years. We've been married for over 20, almost coming up on 22 years. Uh, when we first got married, we actually did our 10-year goal. We did actually 10-year, five-year, three-year, one-year. Now we tend to be doing more one in three years because just with our life stage, with where, actually, with where we're at, and there's just so much change. But you got to know what your goals are. If you don't know your short and long-term goals, it makes it very difficult to be making short-term decisions. Everything is very reactive. So get real clarity on what are the goals that you actually have. Um, and again, you can do super long-term, like 10 years, but at least do at least five years. I would be encouraging at least five years, three years, and one year. For my business, we're seeing a lot of businesses, definitely the three and one, and sometimes they actually do the five actually as well. The goals are really important because, um, and, and the key thing about the goals, and we've talked about this on some of the other videos, and by the way, if you love, if you love this content, okay, if you love this content and you want kind of more tools, you want more resources, go to our website, dkleadership.org, DK stands for Dr. Karen, leadership.org, O-R-G. You can sign up to get our uh, amazing newsletter. You can actually get our scorecard. We've got a leadership scorecard. It's a self-assessment tool. We've got a parenting report card, which is actually really fun, is also a great bonus for you as well. So if you love this content, definitely go to our website and sign up for that because that's going to give you way more free tools. Um, so as I was saying, the goals. So it's really important with your goals 
that you don't have too many of them. Depending on the resource, depending on the expert, a lot of people say you focus on three a year. That's it. Uh, some will say, you know, you can three, but then that, that can go into subcategories as well. Um, some will say five, some will say seven. Know what you're able to do. A lot of the businesses that we work with, they focus on three key objectives. That's our three objectives for the year. That's it. For some of our families, the, I will see anywhere from about three to six main goals for the year. So identify with your goals, uh, with what they, are, what they are, make sure that they're measurable. This is very important. Okay, that's number three. Number four, this is really important. Now you've got to cascade that to the rest of your team. From a business perspective, it's very important that the other people on your team within your organization know exactly what are we going after. If they don't have clarity on the vision, the value, the goals, that then they won't know what are they, why are they there? What, what, what is, you know, what, what's the purpose of their job? They actually would want to know. This is very important, certainly for the younger generation. But from a family perspective, it's very important that your children, your teenagers, your spouse, that you are aligned. This is our vision. This is our values. These are the goals. What do you actually think? Especially if you've got younger children, you want to start getting them to weigh into to clarify in terms of what some of the goals are. That's really important. That's gonna help drive that engagement. And then you want the last piece is accountability. So you wanna then track, okay, and I like to do it by quarters. Here are the goals that we're gonna set out for the, the next quarter. And then you're gonna measure your progress to make sure that you're actually achieving your goals. It's one thing for us to you know, think of a goal um, it's another thing to actually write out a goal, but you want to make sure that you actually are holding yourself accountable to actually achieving it. So um, with my husband and I, we will do this. We will kind of track it quarterly with our goals and, and the, all the goals, but once a year. Companies, a lot of times they're doing it, certainly the annual, but I'd actually recommend like quarterly as well. And depending on certainly uh, smaller organizations that are in a fast growth, uh, then they're actually doing it monthly. So, uh, so there you have it, everybody. Five steps. And when you apply it, that's what, and you get that traction, you get that energy, that's what's actually going to start driving the alignment. That's what's actually going to start getting you is this wonderful engagement, both professionally and personally. And if you like this video, make sure you check out some of the other videos. We've got lots of wonderful videos around communication and feedback, understanding people, relationships. What we love to do is teach tools that are going to help you drive your business, your relationships, and also your wellness.